They're off in the 27th Dubai World Cup. And it was a very good beginning for Ben Duke, who goes out to the early lead with T.O. Keynes to his inside. Salute the soldier and remorse are there. And there goes Panthalasa now, as expected, to join the fray on the far outside as they rush for that first turn. is going to be a little bit wide alongside of remorse. These two are one, two into the turn. Salute the soldier is running along in third. Ben Duke is fourth. Algiers is fifth to the outside of T.O. Keynes. Then it's Geo Glyph. And there's Country Grand right there on the outside seven lengths off the lead as they make their way to the back stretch then super corinto emblem road is down on the inside cafe pharaoh is next and then villa azul june light bolts crown pride and the trailer is mushpa tesoro so up the back stretch they go in the dubai world cup and it is pantalasa and remorse Locked in an early battle here ben Dug is a length and a half off of them salute the soldier fourth on the inside Right behind them is Algiers in fifth. Country Grammar is outside of horses. T.O. Keynes is down toward the rail. Villa Azul is in behind them, and then Geo Glyph. So they make their way into the far turn. Remorse on the inside. Pantalas is coming under pressure now. Ben Dug now draws up alongside, and the big guy Ben Dug moves up alongside of Remorse. And Algiers is on the move to the outside of them. And the three of them make their way to the top of the stretch. Country Grammar is fourth on the outside. And they're into the stretch of the Dubai World Cup. Ben Dug, Al Cheers. These two turn for home one, two. They're side by side with 3 sixteenths of a mile to run. And from the back of the pack, here comes Ushba Tesoro with a rush on the far outside. Al Cheers to catch. Ushba Tesoro gains in, goes by. Ushba Tesoro hits the front. Ushba Tesoro wins the Dubai World Cup. For Japan, Algiers and Emblem Road were in a photo second and third, but it's Ushba Tesoro's Dubai World Cup. Congratulations on a on a fabulous victory today. At what stage in the race did you think, yes, I might be in with a chance now? Yeah, <laughs> It was a, a brilliant ride today uh, from Yuga Kawada. Um, why did you turn to him for the ride on, on, on the biggest day? Kawada is one of the best riders in Japan, so it was a no-brainer to go with him. And he showed all his all his patience. For you personally, a victory in a race of, of this standing, what does it mean to you and your whole team? It's an amazing feeling to have won a race like this. And this is a horse who, who's taken his game to a whole new level since switching from the from the turf to the to the dirt. What ambitions do you have with him beyond today? Where are we likely to see him for, for the rest of his career? He'll meet with the owner and they'll decide on his future going forward. Well, wherever it is, I hope we see him. Congratulations on a great victory today. Thank you very much. Strapping horse, Yuga Kawada, Dubai World Cup winning jockey. Yuga, how does that feel? Uh, I'm so very happy, but uh, I can't understand English. I can't speak English, but I'm very uh, honored to be here. And, uh, Let's give him a moment. You're very honored to be here, Yuga. There we go. Uh, thank you so much. And, uh, uh, we tried uh, uh, to win one cup. Uh, Japanese is also eight, eight horses, but uh, he won uh, uh, this World Cup. I'm very amazing and I'm so happy. And uh, I'm proud of him. Uh, thank you so much, Dubai and uh, Dubai Race uh, Racing Association. Nihon no minasan, arigatou gozaimashita. Congratulations, the second winner of the Dubai World Cup trained in Japan. Subscribe to Racing TV's YouTube channel.
Now to watch more great races like this.